life in San Francisco. Let's go to <laughs> Three day Valentine's Day extravaganza. Hi guys, it's Cynthia. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. I'm dressed fully in pink, if you guys can see, because it's Valentine's Day next week. Well, it's Lunar New Year tomorrow and then Valentine's Day next week. And I just have so many like fun little events that are happening over the next week. So I wanted to vlog it all and share it with you guys. So the first little event is tonight, I am hosting a little Legree workout class at my favorite Legree studio. And it's gonna be Galentine's themed. I invited a couple girls and their besties and we're gonna have such a good time. It's like a small little meet and greet, workout together. I prepped a ton of stuff. Let me show you guys. I made Valentine's Day candy salad. Sorry, I'm not trying to talk too loud because Tim just got home. <laughs> but he's on a work call. Let me show you guys what I made yesterday. Look how cute. Little candy salad. So that's what I'm hosting tonight and I'm so pumped. Also, my skin is looking pretty good considering I just got a facial yesterday and completely forgot that uh, she was gonna do extractions. She was like going in and my skin looks actually not bad. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell. I feel like I can kind of tell from just the viewfinder, but the facial I did yesterday was a lift and tone facial from Soft Glamour Skin. And they actually are the ones that do my lash lifts and they do great lash extensions too. But I decided to try their lift and tone facial to see if like massage would help. And I think it did. I'm feeling a little more like snatched. What do you guys think? I take you back to the kitchen because this is legit the sweetest thing that I mean, it's not the sweetest thing Tim has ever done for me because he's done a lot of really sweet things in general. This is like my love language. He brought me croissants all the way from Paris. He did a really short one day business trip. So he flew one day, he was there for one day and then just flew back and he brought me croissants and macarons and <laughs> so sweet. Look at these macarons. Oh my, oh my god, why does that croissant look so flaky and good? Oh, I have to do a taste test. Okay, we are here at my favorite Legree studio, hosting a little fun Galentine's thing, which I told you guys about earlier, but we're here in the studio. Class is starting in five minutes, so getting excited. The dragon. Whoa! <laughs> dragon year is usually like the luckiest year, so everyone actually keeps telling us to have a dragon baby. <laughs> and it's the year of the wood dragon. Did you know that? No. It's what's like a that? special type of dragon which happens every 80 years. Yeah. Whoa. The wood dragon is an extremely creative and curious person that loves to dive into and try their hand in all subjects of life has a drive and motivation to put all their ideas into practice. Dragon is a proud and lively person with a never ending supply of self-confidence. I really like the that. Wood dragon. Tim got me some croissants from Paris, which I showed you guys yesterday and I have yet to eat them. So I wanted to do a little taste test. First ever real French croissant. Mmm! <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. It sat on a plane for like 12 hours, smushed in my luggage. No, so good. Is it? Mm-hmm. 
I bet if it was fresh, it would be even better. Very flaky. The chocolate chip is really unique because most of the time in a normal chocolate croissant, it's just like a whole chunk of like chocolate versus little specks. No, you can eat vegan. Yeah. No, you, I brought it back for you. Mm. Went to Paris Next for one. one day for a business trip for one meeting. But, um, and her favorite pastry, does it, pastry is a croissant. So I had to bring back a little piece of Paris for you. That's so sweet. I've always wanted to try a true French croissant. Yeah, so I think if you think th these are good, I mean, they, I literally picked these up at the airport. Mm. And, you know, they weren't necessarily the most fresh. They were just in the display case. Mm -hmm. And so if you think these are good, like, because well, I had to fly out at like 7 a.m. So I was at the airport at like 5 a.m. Then there's no bakeries open, real bakeries. So I just picked this up at like a cafe Thank you. at the airport. And if you think they're good, mm. that means you think like the places where people actually go for croissants mm -hmm. are gonna be out of this world. So this will just be a little teaser until we get to do the real thing. I know, thank you. We wanna go to Europe probably either in the spring, like May, June, or fall, like August, September, which I've always heard is the best time to go because summer I've heard is very like hectic and hot. So if you guys have any recs for Paris, London, or any other cities that you think are worth checking out for the very first time, let me know. This is gonna be my first ever time in Europe. So let me know all your recs, what cities we should go to, what restaurant recommendations. I can't wait. Maybe that'll be my 30th birthday trip. <laughs> Happy year of the wood dragon. Happy year of the wood dragon. We just filmed our little Valentine's Day relationship Q&A. It actually took way longer than expected. It, it took us like, like an, an hour, hour and a half. half. We just talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the questions are really good. It didn't you guys feel like an hour and a half. I but know, it was right? An hour and a half. Yeah, time was just flying. But you guys submitted some really great questions on my Instagram story, so thank you if you submit a question. But now we are wearing red because it's Lunar New Year, and we are driving down to our parents' place to have Chinese New Year dinner. <laughs> Egg dumpling, golden nugget. So happy, you guys. Cheers. <laughs> Being Apple <laughs> because Ping. of Ping An. Yeah. Forever oh. peace. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Promoted. Huh? Grow taller. Hong Dou Zi Mi Ta. Hong Ba Ta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's Super Bowl day! Uh, this guy's going early to his Super Bowl watch party. It's only 12.30. Game's at 3.30. <laughs> gotta, gotta get there, gotta get mentally prepared, gotta lock in. Every play counts. To all of Cynthia's followers who are Niners fans, you're awesome. To all of Cynthia's followers who are supporting a boyfriend or husband or loved one <laughs> through this very important day in Niners Nation, you're also awesome. <laughs> this is a huge moment for us. We gotta take advantage of the being in the Super Bowl. It doesn't happen all the time. It may never happen again. Ooh. And this is the moment where history is made and legends are created. Happen in the jersey. Nice. Looks good. <sighs> Let's go Niners. <laughs> Hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, the Niners are Super Bowl champs. Let's go. <laughs> please, please, please.
for the chicken. Believe in Purdy. That's the situation. I believe in Purdy. This is the husband's that peel a banana. Oh, peel the orange. Can you peel um, an orange in the fridge for me? Sure. <laughs> this is the orange oh. peeling part. Peel the banana? The banana? Yeah. Orange peeling husbands right here. Right here. We're going overtime in the Super Bowl against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. 1919. 1919. Let's go see Mac. Let's go see Mac. Oh no. Oh no. You guys saw our reaction. We lost. I got so invested in the game and it was such a close game that I like feel depressed now. Okay, depressed is kind of dramatic, but I feel like very down. Anything you'd like to say? We had a fun night, except for the Niners losing. That part was super depressing. Um, but Cynthia was such a great fan. She got so into it. I think we might've got- Because of you. I think we might've got a new Niners fan today. <laughs> bang, bang, Niners! But yeah, I mean, that's sports. That's life. It's up and down. You got to fight through to live another day. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, it was a fun experience hanging out with our friends. Good night. Happy Valentine's Day. It's the day before Valentine's Day and we have a little event at Saison in Fillmore. Tim just played his basketball game. So I'm gonna meet him at his club and then we're gonna head over together. But here's my little OOTD. This coat is Saison. I also have it in brown. I'm just wearing a black turtleneck, some jeans. These are kind of like casual cargo ones. And then I'm going to wear my saunters and I'm bringing my little Birkin and look how cute these twillies are. I got these specifically for Valentine's day. <laughs> look how cute. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Wearing Saison already. This is Saison. My shirt says on. Yeah. Love. Okay, sure. Thank you. Wow, it looks good. Is it? I guess Saison's kind of my brand. Yeah, it looks so good on you. That's good. Like this one or the. Both look really good on you, but I think I like the black, but that's just me personally. The black is maybe a little more versatile. What do you guys think? Comment down below, black or blue. Thanks. Wow. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. I just got in this cute little matching sweatshirt for me and my sister. I got this as like a little Valentine's Day gift for her because I love I don't know, I mean, Galentine's Valentine's. I just love doing something to celebrate her one of these days and our sister like bond. I'm gonna go gift it to her, so let's go. what do you think? So cute. I know, matches me. Yay. <laughs> Michelle got these croissant wheels mm -hmm. from Gina Bakes. Gina Bakes. Tell me what makes them so special. They're like viral because of a New York Bakery. Mm -hmm. I like this one better because I just like chocolate in general more than strawberry. This is what, a croffle? Mm -hmm. Croffle. Mmm. This is like 10-10. Yeah. Wow. Okay, one more bite. Mmm. Mm-mm. You eat that. Yum, yum, yum. Tim got me those yesterday. I've been craving these chocolate strawberries. I don't know why I'm craving them so much, but these ones are really good. He got them from North Beach. Mm -hmm. And then also got me these beautiful flowers, beautiful roses. Look how open they are. St 
stunning. So that was yesterday. We did a little Valentine's night in, which was so nice. We ordered some elephant sushi and then we watched Bachelor and then ate the chocolate strawberries. Tonight, we are actually doing something really fun. I am surprising Tim for a little Valentine's Day thing. <laughs> I told him it was an influencer event, so he didn't question it. I knew something was going on. Really? Because you're kind of <laughs> giving me like, normally it's like, Oh, it's this brand. We're going here at this time and it's till then. And then this time when I asked you, you're like, oh, you know. It's so what we're doing is we're going to the California Academy of Science Nightlife. Woo! <laughs> Have you been? No. Is there special Lunar New Year night? No so, way. Yeah. So there's like mahjong and no way. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Sick. And tomorrow for, oh. our, for our three day Valentine's Day extravaganza, Stay tuned for what we do tomorrow. I'm wearing this cute revolve dress, cutie little Chanel vanity case from Reback. We're going to friends only tonight. This really bougie, yummy apparently, sushi like omakase spot. And I have not had nice, nice sushi like that in a few months now. So I'm so excited. This is our little belated Valentine's Day dinner date. It's like a more like a Valentine's Day extravaganza. Friends only. Hello! Today's a really exciting day because we are throwing our annual Lunar New Year party tonight. I already started putting together this little floral display. I actually brought these branches from San Diego when we were down there a couple weeks ago. And one of my friends, Christy, she was my wedding planner. And she gave me some of these beautiful branches that turned into this amazing little Lunar New Year masterpiece. So, or centerpiece. Turned into a little Lunar New Year also centerpiece. Oh, thanks. I finished up wrapping our little presents because we kind of like to do, we need to come up with a name for this. Maybe like the red dragon yeah, or something. Dragon. Okay. Um, but it's essentially white elephant. And this year the theme was something that you 
always wanted but couldn't justify getting your, for yourself that's under $50. So we both got things, we wrapped them up, catering tonight from Mama Hoo Hoo, so that's taken care of, and we're gonna go set up. Okay, look at all our stuff. Holy. Spindrift, Absolute, Soju, Sing Towels, Olipop, more decorations, some snacks. I love Hello Pandas. These are so good. We're ready. Gotta go make my pot stickers. So these are the pot stickers. This is pork and purple cabbage. These are both gluten free, which is amazing. And then tofu and mushroom. So I'm gonna make these. I'm gonna do a little taste test because chef always gets to eat, right? So these are the pork and purple cabbage pot stickers with rice and oat flour wrapper. Hot. Mmm, that's really good. The dumpling skin tastes pretty similar to a normal dumpling. So very gluten-free. This is really good option. are on again because I'm headed to a belated Lunar New Year party with Love Bonito. It's a little mahjong night. Made it! Yay! <laughs> Guys, high level um, overview of how mahjong works. Okay, just made it home. I think this is the last of my Lunar New Year festivities, Valentine's Day and Lunar New Year festivities. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, seeing a glimpse of life in San Francisco, life in my last year of my 20s. I'm trying to think of like a new vlog series name. I'm debating life in SF or last year of my 20s. What do you guys think? If you enjoy this video, thanks always for tuning in. I love reading your guys' comments, your guys' DMs. You guys are truly the best. All the real ones who leave comments in the comment section, you guys know who you are. You're the absolute best. You're my fave. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!